Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty. Today's video is going to be kind of a brand rundown overview of Trini London. Um, I've had these products since, honestly, the day they launched. Um, so it's been about five, four or five months that I've been using them and I have a pretty solid opinion on them. Um, before we get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can click the button right here within the video and it won't navigate you away from whatever page you're watching it on. Uh, that way you won't miss any of my future videos and it will help other people find me. Um, now that that business is out of the way, let's get into the review. First of all, if you don't know, Trini London was founded by Trini Woodall um, and it's a brand that its whole focus is the fact that it's effortless to apply. You're supposed to use it to apply to your fingers. Um, she sells her products in what she calls her stacks. So they're all these little individual pots that click together. And so you can have your stack and you can have your um, just a touch foundation and your bronzer and your highlighter and all of this in a stack and you can take it and travel with it so if you need to touch up throughout the day all you do is pull out your stack open it up touch up and you're good to go and most things are you know light washes of color kind of meant to be this um, effortless beauty and you know she has she has more intense eye color she has more intense lip colors but for the most part it's kind of like a uh not you know the base is like a no makeup makeup base and then you can pop on an intense lip um so i like the idea of it that your makeup should be effortless your makeup should be easy and easier to transition from work and you're going out to dinner with friends, you pull out your stack, you touch up your under eyes, you touch up your lip, and you're good to go. Um, so I think that's pretty neat. Um, and if you haven't seen any Trini online, I recommend you check her out. She's She talks a lot about skincare. Um, I like that she's pretty transparent about things that are sent to her. For the most part, she doesn't use things that are sent to her. And she, um, but I like that she's she has great energy. I feel like she's very genuine. Um, I think it's her personality behind the line that's made it pretty successful. Um, so, with that being said, so the first product I have is her BFF cream in uh, light. There's four shades in this cream, and they describe it as they describe it as an ultimate skin perfector that comes in four shades to cover the full spectrum of skin tones. Um, and let's see. BFF's colored microspheres adapt to your own skin tone, creating a flawless natural glow. Light reflecting extract of porcelain flower boosts radiance, tones down redness, and makes light work of dark circles. SPF 30 protects the skin from UVA and pollution, and our tube comes with their own teapot. So what they mean by that is they call um, these little individual things, teapots. So the idea is you buy the tube, you get a teapot, so you can decant some into this so you can use it throughout the day. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this one. I, I don't not like it, but it's not. I don't find it to be what they say it is. I like the packaging. It comes in a pump like this. Um, so it's really easy to use. It's, uh, it's a fine as an SPF. Um, but I don't know, it's not shade adjusting, first of all. It doesn't offer any coverage, second of all. It might tone down redness for some people. For me, it doesn't touch mine. It says make lights work of dark circles. That's just simply not true. Um, I don't feel like it does anything for my dark circles. It does offer a glow. It does offer SPF. So those are the things I do get from it, but I find that anything related to coverage you're not gonna get, you're not gonna find it here. It's, um, it really is just a glowy SPF. It's not even a moisturizer, it's a glowy SPF primer. It does sit beautifully under all kinds of makeup. I don't have any problem layering over it. Um, it does look nice on its own, but I read a ton of reviews on their website preparing for this video and a lot of people say that they do get redness, that it does reduce their redness I don't find that. I don't find that it does anything 
for evening out skin tone. It definitely doesn't do anything for dark circles, but as a radiant SPF, it is one. However, I have other radiant SPFs that I like more. So this one's almost gone and I, I definitely will not be buying it again. So they only have two shades in the Golden Glow and they describe it as um, a natural warm glow to even the palest complexion, enhances your tan, sheer gel formula blends flawlessly into your skin, looks sun-kissed and fabulous, a little goes a long way. This is their Golden Glow. I have it in the shade Gensta. It's a really unique color. Um, it's kind of, it's orangey. It's, it's orange and, but not, I don't know how to describe it, but it's fantastic. You know, and it's definitely a bronzer. It's not a contour. So when I apply it, um, I'll take it on my fingers and I'll rub it onto my forehead and kind of on my cheeks. Um, and it really does just give you a nice, hey, I've been in the sun for a hot minute look. And it sits really nice on the skin too, um, which I really enjoy. It is, I mean, to me, it's the best thing that I bought from them because I think the color is unique. I think the the way it works really well with my skin tone is pretty unique because I'm very fair and I'm really picky about my bronzers and I don't like it if they pull orange at all. Um, and so, and brown, anything in the brown red family turns really muddy on me. So this is just a beautiful color. I was pleasantly surprised given that there's two shades that someone as fair as I am can look really good in it. It's a sheer wash of color. It gives you a nice healthy glow. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, the next thing I have is their Just the Right Light and it's their highlighter and they have it in only one shade and they describe it as a near invisible illuminating touch with a satiny finish, easy to apply with the perfect hold. It's the ultimate beauty illusionist. Enhances a tan, adds a glow to the shoulders, uh, collarbones, and decollete. Creates a perfect subtle daytime shimmer. Uh, I don't find this shimmery at all, but it is a very nice highlight. It's um, it's a very radiant glow. That it makes sense that there's only one color because it is a very natural lit from a thin glow. It sits well on top of other makeup that doesn't fall in their line. I think it's it's really beautiful and subtle. I think it would work well for people who don't wear makeup. You know, if you have pretty good skin and you just want a little bit of glow, you can tap that on. I think it looks really well. Um, but I will say, if I'm going to spend that much on a luminizer, a universal luminizer in a pot, I'm going to go for the Living Luminizer by RMS Beauty. It I like the texture better. Um, I like the glow better. Um, I like the packaging better. I just, I'm just being honest. I think Starlight by Trini London is fine, but is the RMS Living Luminizer is just better. It just is. Um, so. <laughs> the last thing I have is they're just a touch. Okay, so for the just a touch. They describe it as a <clears throat> two-in-one foundation and concealer, works to even skin tone and texture and tone down redness, concentrated pigments give flawless, long-lasting coverage. A long-wearing formula is sweat and humidity resistant, a creamy texture for fingertip application. Um, I mean, this gives, it's a sheer coverage, it even out skin tone, it doesn't cover scarring, acne, anything intense, any intense pigmentation. It doesn't cover dark circles. I personally find it really greasy and I'm normal to dry. Um, I find that it's really slippy, that it doesn't really ever set down. I don't find that it's buildable. Um, this was just a hard miss for me. Another thing is, is that I have it in the color Zandy and it's the wrong color for me, which is partially my fault, but partially their fault <laughs> because they have this system um, called Match to Me, which is kind of cool because you go through and you pick out your undercones and you pick out your skin tone, you pick out this and that, and even your hair color too, to not only try to find your perfect foundation color, but also to find good uh, lip to cheek colors uh, and eye colors. So, you know, 
for those who aren't well versed in color theory or who don't really know how to pick out the right colors for them, I think that's a really unique thing that they offer. They have something that says, okay, you're uh, fair with pink undertones and brunette hair. These are good colors that will be flattering on you. I think that's a really neat thing that they offer. However, I was waffling between two foundation shades um, and I went with the one they recommended and I really think the one my gut instinct knew would have been better for me. It was workable. It was fine. Um, it would probably be better for me during the summer. It's just too yellow and a little too dark. Um, but it, I mean, honestly, the formula just does not work for me because it doesn't last all day. I, it's just, I think it's too greasy is the bottom line. It, things that I really like about the brand. I like the idea behind it. I really like that it's a proponent of effortless beauty, but it doesn't mean like, you know, that its idea is that your base is flawless and you can pop on a red lip and look fabulous. I really like that. I like that it's on the go, that if you need to uh, touch something up while you're out and about, you have your little stack, um, that, but it's just not for me. I enjoy the bronzer a lot. The highlight is fine. Um, the BFF cream is fine. I would repurchase the bronzer when I run out, to be honest. Uh, that's about the only thing I would take away from it. I would be curious to try her eye and lip colors, but not that curious. I don't like the packaging because for me, this is a high-end company and it feels cheap. And I understand why, because it's meant for travel. Um, but they're plastic and it just, the stack seems gimmicky to me, but that's just me because I don't travel. Um, so the stack and the clicking and the, it just seems gimmicky and you're paying so much and you're getting plastic packaging. Um, that's a downside to me. I understand the logic behind it. Doesn't mean that I like it. Um, another thing is Shit, what was the other thing? Oh, their website is very helpful. Their website has a ton of information on it. Um, I really like that they're, they're a cruelty-free brand. They have a lot of vegan products and they have a lot of gluten-free products and they make it really easy to see what products are vegan and what products are gluten-free. They're all very clearly labeled. I think that is fantastic. I think that's something every company should do. Um, so I really appreciate that. Uh, their shipping was great. I ordered opening weekend and I think I got it and I'm in the United States. I got it three days later. It was insane. Three or four days later. It was nuts how fast it came. So I really appreciate that. Um, I have emailed them about something before and they responded very quickly. Um, so that aspect of them is fantastic. I just, the products are not for me. Um, but I could see how they would fit into certain people's lives. I'd rather put my makeup on my face and have it stay for 12 hours. I'd rather my makeup look nice and feel nice. And if I'm paying so much, if I'm paying so much for uh, a tenth of an ounce of product for four grams, I want it to feel like, for example, this is about the same. This is RMS Living Luminizer. It's a glass jar. It has a metal lid. It feels hefty. It looks nice. Um, if I'm spending $40 on this much product, this feels like it. Whereas Trini's does not. And like I said, I, I know why they did what they did. And it makes sense for their brand. But it doesn't mean I have to like it. Um, <laughs> so. That is... That is it for this video. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty Everywhere on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vero, and Reddit. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to catch some of my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.